All right, YouTube. I got four panels up. Four panels are still sitting here in my living room. Uh, those have been there for, God, it seems like three months. But anyway, I got them up on the roof and working. Let's go out and take a look at them. Now notice it is a very cloudy day. All right. There's my panels. They are tracking the sun. Um, I had to adjust the little solar tracker so it is more perpendicular with the sun. Um, in the morning, I also had to trim this tree down here. Uh, it's kind of looking like a Dr. Seuss tree right now. I might end up removing it. Um, anyway, on this cloudy day, let's go see what kind of power she's making. All right. She's putting out 343 watts. And I've had her plug, okay. We almost got a kilowatt and it's in a little over five hours. All right, on a cloudy day. So in other words, right now, being only plugged in for five hours had made more power than those wind turbines, both of them put together um, since I've put them up much better investment all right there they are up and working skies are clear it's uh, pretty much a direct hit on the panels and take you inside here 603 watts At just under six amps. I have seen six amps and I also have seen uh, as much as 630 watts. And with those panels uh, being 230 watts a piece. Let's do the math here real quick. Times four. I should be able to handle 920 watts I should be getting maximum potential out of those panels well I'm only getting two-thirds of that and I'm wondering if it has something to do with this grid tie I don't know if it's better to uh, you know piggyback two 500 watt grid tie inverters or or if that is the potential of uh, my panels because right now I'm only getting uh, about 150 watts out of each panel in full sun would have direct it. Anyway, you see what the, it was really cloudy this morning. So I only made a little over a kilowatt in six and a half hours. Also, I actually put a spacer behind there for heat and I got a little fan blowing on it too. It was getting a little warm. All right, here we are up on the roof. Take a better look at these, the way they're mounted and everything. Uh, I forgot to mention yesterday with a, a partly cloudy day for the day I made uh, 3.25 kilowatts or 3,250 watts. I noticed this tracker is um as you can see i got <laughs> i bent the crap out of it trying to get this thing to track the sun a lot better but it's it seems like it doesn't it doesn't always stay perpendicular with the sun i don't know if this is on some kind of a relay or not but you see there's still uh metal shavings up here from when i was drilling where I mounted all the wires. And I just ran it along the roof down into the wall underneath the soffit. Wires aren't very warm, so that's kind of a good thing. But I think I am going to try and stack two 500 
uh, grid ties together and see if it actually improves it. I know it did for the uh, the wind turbines, but we'll see if it works. Uh, speaking of wind turbines, there dumb things are. Those PMGs will be coming down in the future, and I'll be making my own.